Hello there beautiful people, I hope you're doing well and welcome back again to OnHow channel. If you don't know, my name is Enes, I'm working for you, so if you have any questions, any video requests, make sure to drop one below in the comment, I will be happy to make a video for you. And for people that do know, welcome back and you should be a witness to over 100 videos I made so far on Shopify customization. They were mostly requested from you guys, I mean subscribers, and some people not even subscribers, but I'm fine with that. I do still make the video for them. And I, I don't know how they keep track what I post, if I did post their request or no, but they do actually, I don't know how. But anyway, just a like button, that's all I'm asking. Or actually, if you are interested in Shopify customization, you want to learn how to do anything in your Shopify store without having to hire a developer, why not subscribe into the channel, man? I don't have anything to sell, everything I do provide, every content I do create, I do post it completely free on the channel. I don't have any memberships or anything like that. I don't sell any courses and never will. So it's a win-win situation. But I'll let you decide and I respect your decision. Just a like button, that's all I'm asking. And here I am again back with another requested video, which is how to adjust and move the banner image on the desktop only on your Shopify store. And this is a problem that many people have because the, the banner image doesn't look the same on the mobile. On the mobile, mostly on the mobile it looks fine, but on desktop it doesn't look that good. It's either way too up or way too down. So if you want to adjust like the picture horizontally on the desktop, I mean the banner image, this video will help you out how to do so without using any apps or anything like that. And you can actually adjust it by the number, the exact millimeter that you want the picture to be shown at. Without any more talking, let's just get to it. As you can see, this is the Shopify dashboard in here. They have down team, which is the most used one, and also which is the one I do demonstrations on in the videos. But if I scroll down in here, I have every other t free team as well, which is, uh, I mean the most used ones, which is Taste, Sense, Refresh, Spotlight, and Trade. And if you are wondering why is that, because I do actually try the trick on each one of these. So even if you're not using Downtime, you're using one of these, it should work for you just fine. And even if it didn't, just drop me a comment. I will be happy to help you out, but I'm sure it will, I promise. I just have to say this in the beginning, so I give you a peace of mind. So you would know, once you saw me doing it on Downtime, you would think that it's not working on the others. It does actually, so no worries. And without the way, let's just get to it and show you how to adjust and move the banner image on the desktop only for your Shopify store. And this is the Shopify store I'm talking about. And this is the Shopify store where I do all the tricks in my videos, including the moving trans uh, the announcement bar, as you can see. If I click on it, it's gonna take me back to the product, future product. You can customize that however you want, as well as the lift effect or the, the shadow effect on the product images, and many, many more, as well as the search bar. A lot more actually on how to do any of these. If you saw anything in the Shopify store, and you want to implement it on your Shopify store as well, check out the channel. I will have already have the video posted. But what I'm talking about in this video is this one. As you can see, the picture looks up. I'm not scrolling down anything. As you can see, the picture looks way up than it should be. I want it a little bit down. So her face should be just a little bit above the text in here. Yeah, and the head, uh, it, should be, it shouldn't be covered like this. Because if I click on the drop down menu, it might actually cover her face as you can see. And by the way, if you are interested in adding the icons to the drop down menu, I already made that video too. <laughs> I will shut up now, I, I promise. So what I'm going to do with this video is I will adjust this image banner to make it a little bit down. So I want to drag it a little bit down so it will cover the neck from down here, but it will show the head, all the head as well as the face in the middle of the banner in here. It will not keep like this, uh, uh, covering the head. So we will keep this page open, do the trick, come back and see it in action. Obviously, get back to Shopify dashboard. Then after that, click on the three dots to the left of customize and click on edit code. Then it will take you to the code editor for your Shopify team. The next thing you're going to do is because we need to find a specific file in here. And instead of uh, looking at the folders in here, you might get dizzy. <laughs> I'm just joking. Use the search bar at the top left corner, then type in team and you will see team.liquid, as you can see. Then simply click on it, a bunch of code will show up here, and after that, scroll all the way down at the bottom of the page, and you will see this little section right here called 
uh, forward slash body as you can see forward slash body it will be at the bottom of the page so before forward slash body or above forward slash body we need to pass in some code but there is no space in order to create that space simply click front of the last thing above forward slash body then hit enter on your keyboard and here we go we have a completely new line empty for our code and to get that code you need to hire a developer pay him wait 24 hours then he get back to you the code then try it see if it works or not i'm just joking scroll down to the description box and you will see a link name it as code simply click on it and it will take you to this page right here where you're gonna see this beautiful short code that will do the trick for us so this code will only apply this thing that we're trying to do on the mobile on the desktop sorry i apologize i'm a little bit sick but i'm still making the videos dedication 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 is everything so uh, what i said is this only applies on the desktop on the mobile it will be the same so the changes will only apply for the desktop so obviously select the whole code in here then right click and copy after that get back to the section that we did create the empty space then simply paste it in here so you see here it says 88 so this is a number and this number right here is uh, how you adjust the image so as you can see right now it says 88 so more you increase the number the more you increase the number the lower is gonna go the more you decrease the number is higher is gonna go let me show you what I'm talking about so let's just keep it as 88 let's just click on save button we will get back in here uh, you see the picture is covering the head let's just reload the page and see whoa it's way down more as you can see so let's just uh, increase the number more and let's just do 99 right let's just do 99 let's just click on save and let's just reload the page and see the changes now it did go more down as you can see but if i decrease the number let's just decrease the number though now let's just do 66 whoa weird number right it, it needs another six in order to be where you think it is so just calm down <laughs> i'm joking i'm joking so let's just reload the page we did we did 66 as you saw let's just reload the page it did go down you go up sorry as you can see so as you increase the number the picture goes up and as you increase decrease sorry as you decrease the number the picture go up as you increase the number the picture go down a little bit confusing but i think you got the idea right and that's how you adjust and move the banner image on the desktop only as a said for your Shopify store. And if you have any questions, make sure to drop them below. But for now, I think my job is done. So thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one.